So the question is, I'm one of the few people that don't care if the horses lope around with their heads between their knees. And have I ever turned a horse down because it didn't go around a specific way? Um, I don't know how to take that question exactly, but no, I, you know, I, I don't turn a horse down. Of course, our industry has dictated what a style is for sure. But I think just because a horse doesn't fit perfectly what our, what our style is, I think that horse can still, even if not find a spot in a, in a top level four program, I think they can still find a spot in the industry because even if a horse goes around a little bit higher headed or not a fantastic mover, um, I think I think movement is more important than where they carry their head because kind of everything, everything feeds off of how they move, you know, um, change in leads, going from fast to slow, running to a stop. I mean, I think a good mover is really a, a really, that, that really helps in all the maneuvers. But as far as their head goes, you know, if their head's a little bit higher, but they'll go out there and take care of a rookie and, Marcus 71 every time and let him win a lot of prizes that horse is golden in my in my book as far as my personal horses um, you know no I don't spend all day pulling their head down between their legs yeah I want them soft and I want them you know lower headed uh, but you know I want them to do the maneuvers and I want them to do the maneuvers comfortably and I don't want to take away from the horse or the maneuver trying to put them in a position that's not natural and I think that I think that can happen a lot in our in our in our business watching um, you know some some people that are obsessed with having their heads real low I think it can take away from some of your other maneuvers and in the time that you can be taken to teach them to stop and turn and change leads and do all those things I think you spend a lot of extra time doing some stuff that's not necessarily necessary. So I had a mare a couple of years ago that got passed on by several people and um, I got I rode her and and saw her being ridden and loved her. I mean she was fantastic minded and she went around she just naturally was built to go around with her head a little bit higher, not offensive and not resistant but that's just where it was. And I made the open finals on her. She made the open finals of the fraternity, the NRBC. She made the level four finals of the, the uh, non-pro at the NRBC. And, and the mare was just fantastic minded and went out and horse showed. And the bottom line is to me, is a horse's desire to want to go out and please. And to me, I don't want to get in the way of that desire by teaching them something that may be uncomfortable for them and honestly um, you know some horses it's super easy to go around like that yeah if I if I can pick my hand up and have them be right there and that's not something I have to spend the majority of my time worrying about then fantastic but if it's gonna be more more work than it's worth and I may take something away from something else then then I don't worry about it too much Smart Calm Ultra Pellets are a cost-effective way to provide calming support for anxious or spooky horses. This herb-free formula provides vitamins and minerals to maintain nervous system health and help keep your horse focused. It's our best-selling calming supplement with over 800 five-star reviews. Help yourself and your horse have less stress and more fun in the saddle by getting him started on Smart Calm Ultra Pellets today.